So sanctions just announced, Morgan. Yes. What ultimately is the goal here to get Tehran to denuclearize? Yeah, so that's a great question. Um, after all of the heightened tensions that we saw over the past week, a lot of people have been asking us, what is the administration's policy? Where are you going with this? Your viewers will know that for the past year and a half since we withdrew from the JCPOA, we have pursued what we call a maximum economic pressure campaign. Um, and that campaign involves diplomatic isolation and economic isolation of the regime in Iran until they want to behave like a normal nation and change uh, their behavior. Also, the president said on Wednesday, whenever he gave a speech, that he called on European countries uh, and, and other signatories of the JCPOA to withdraw from what he has always considered to be a fundamentally flawed deal. So, again, your viewers should know that there is no leaning back on the sanctions regime. If anything, we're leaning in. Now, I want to talk about the, uh, Europe in a second, but I was looking through my notebook uh, on the way back from the White House and, uh, you know, construction, metals, mm -hmm. eight senior Iran officials, additional sanctions on anyone trading or owning in Iran's economy. I mean, this is arguably the most uh, tough sanctions that have ever really been implemented against Iran thus far to this point. And, and not only that, we also uh, named leader uh, members of the Supreme yeah. Council's leadership that, that are also being sanctioned. It's important to note that Secretary uh, Pompeo pointed out that some of these people were directly involved in the ballistic missile, missile mm -hmm. attack against the United States. And, and I would remind everyone that that ballistic that those ballistic missiles are in defiance of U.N. Security Resolution, uh, Security Council Resolution 2231. Um, so there is a pattern of behavior here of, of, of not complying with uh, with these international agreements. But you are going to let, you know, this, the administration is going to let uh, U.S. investigators uh, look into that plane. Yeah, we think that's incredibly important. I mean, obviously, as soon as the Ukrainian airliner crashed, Secretary Pompeo um, tweeted his condolences mm -hmm. to the family. We never want to see the innocent loss uh, of life. And so so we are waiting for a thorough investigation. Secretary Mnuchin has said whether it's Americans, Canadians, Ukrainians, whoever asks for a waiver to be involved in this investigation, that we will permit it. And I would remind you that the regime in Iran is, is still denying what all Western countries have realized is, the, is, is, is what happened as it relates to the missile attack.